Sometimes our UIs just look a tad bit boring and we need to add some effects to kind of spice it up. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can add some effects to your UI in Roblox Studio. Shop our unlimited access bundle to get all current and future assets. Check it out with the first link down below. So the first effect I have for you guys is adding a pattern to your UI. So right here we have a very simple shape. Now you can look for pretty much any uh, pattern you want. For example, right here, you can have a checkerboard pattern. So here it is. I'm going to drop this into my canvas and we're going to copy this. I'm going to make this white so you guys can see it. Uh, I'm going to copy this to complete the texture. So like this right here, for example, just gonna merge. Okay, here we are. So we're going to make this all one layer. Now, um, I'm going to copy this uh, texture, Control J. And with this, we're gonna go right click and hit create mask. So it is clipped inside this shape right here. All right, now basically you can customize this texture so for example you can change the color uh it looks good here we go for like this i guess you can do something like this we can use our eraser and modify this like so i think this looks pretty cool if you guys can see it just a very very faint texture uh drop the opacity here and i'm gonna add a stroke to my design here um actually i'm going to turn the fill off i'm gonna add my stroke like this uh, resize extend Drop the corner radius, uh, 25. So here is my basic uh, shape. All right, so while we're at it, um, I'm just gonna add this little game pass icon because I wanna show you guys how you can also add glow effects. So here is our game pass icon, uh, pass or GP icon. So right here, this is our basic frame. We're going to get all of this into studio once we are done with our design. Now for our glow effect, we can make a new layer, brush tool, hold alt, so we can select a color and we can just paint right here. Now, if your brush does not look like mine, make sure your settings are as follows, hardness at zero, I have my opacity at 25 and flow at 39. I'm just gonna paint. And as you can see, now we have a very clean, nice looking glow effect. Uh, we can, I guess we can make this stronger. Uh, we can copy this group, control E, and also do some blurs if you want some more. Like this right here, I think. This looks really good. All right, so now it is time to show you guys how to import and get all this into Studio. All right, so here we are. Make sure you guys save uh, your place so you can start using the asset manager or else you won't be able to import any assets. Just a little uh, forward. All right, so for us, before we get any effects done, we have to recreate the uh, shape, the base of the UI using some frames. Let's go make our frame. We go screen GUI. What is right here? Okay, we're gonna add a frame. We call this canvas. We go anchor, fit, remove, and scale now to recreate our frame add a frame anchor 
Alright, so to recreate our frame, we need to find the sizing of this rectangle. So if we click right here, it will tell us width and height 789 by 294. So 789, 294. And now I'm going to call this main. Uh, we're going to go for corner. We're going to try to match this corner radius. Offset. Zero scale, we're gonna go for like 0 0.1, 0 0.25, that's too much. Uh, I think 0.15. We're going to grab the same color right here, paste, boom. And for the background transparency, since we have this at 95%, this value is going to be 0 0.05. So the first thing I think we're going to grab the ring uh, effect. It's what I like uh, to call it. So right here, we need to copy this and change the stroke color to white. So a pure white, like so. We're gonna go right click and hit quick export as PNG. Once you're here, you can save this under any name you want. Usually I add a prefix. So for example, I could do UI underscore ring, for example. So here is our ring. Now inside studio right here, go to images and now you're just going to import your image. Okay. So right here, we're going to go back to our frame. We're going to add an image label and go anchor and right click copy ID, scroll and control V paste. Now for the sizing, same thing up here, 271, remove background and scale now also this kind of helps us see if our corner radius is proper so we got a lower uh, 0.125 there we go let's get the reason why we exported this image using the color white is so we can actually recolor this uh, ring inside of studio so now if you want to make this red you can without having to go into Photoshop, change the color and export, import this all over again. Okay. So we can delete this copy once you are done. Um, now for our texture, I'm going to copy this texture out of the clipping mask right here. Like so change the color to white. Now you can see our issue is that the texture goes over our frame. So how can we fix this? First, let's rasterize our layer style and we're going to hold control and click on the icon of our rectangle. This will make a selection. Now, while we still have our texture selected, we're going to go uh, to this tool, right click and we're going to hit select inverse. We're gonna hit backspace and control D to deselect. Now you can see we have our texture exactly the same and same thing, right click, we're gonna hit quick export. So same process, let's add image label. We're gonna go call this texture, set anchor, right click, right click, copy ID and paste it here. We can just hit fit parent move background and boom scale and now we can change the color just like so very nice you go for anything you want we go for like this uh, you can cut the ring paste it back so it goes over all right now for our game pass icon uh, we're going to add the icon separately from the effects Okay, so we're going to control E and merge these two together. Right click and hit quick export. Now we're going to add our game pass. So image label, set anchor. We go UI, game pass icon, go paste. This should be square. So I'm just going to enlarge this. Now to add our effect, we go for image label once again set anchor 
copy and paste it here. So 359 by 359. Boom. Remove background. Glow. And we're going to drop the Z index to zero. And now we're going to move this down. 0.55. Here is our result. Now, if you want to go a step further uh, for our ring, we can we can make this white again and add a UI gradient. And we can use this to make a nice gradient like so. As you can see, we can add more points, more colors, make this very, very interesting. 45. Okay, add some more points. Pretty cool. Um, and like this right here. We change the angle. 60. Boom. That is how you can add effects, make some beautiful UI inside of Roblox Studio. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.